you've come to the university, uh, received your award, um, but uh, you're the chairman of Huddersfield Town Football Club. This is, uh, mm. I suppose, your day job. Uh, but one, uh, one aspect that uh, um, not many people will know about is that yeah. you, when you took over, you created the Huddersfield Town Foundation. Yeah. Um, why did you set that up and, and what is it designed to do? Well, initially, I think um, with football clubs generally in, in, in bad press, whether that's players who are remote from, from supporters, they get paid too much money, the way they behave. I think it's important that Huddersfield, we're, we're a small town club, um, as you know, with the university, you know, uh, it's, it's a very traditional place. And my main real role was to actually get the football club and place it at the centre of the community. But that's easier said than done, then what do you do? And we came up with lots of initiatives, but we thought with the Huddersfield Town Foundation is it's a great way to, to get local businesses involved with schools, young children, um, raise lots of money and do good. But how do you do good? We came across an idea, um, the breakfast clubs. And there's so much on the news about children now going to school uh, undernourished that creates uh, learning um, uh, disabilities where they've no concentration. So a great way to start the children on the morning is to have a, have a full stomach and, and from that you have better learning and it all works well. On the back of that we also thought to ourselves, let's get parents involved, let's get them trained up at the university, the college, um, to the NVQ and let's get the community completely involved. At the same time let's look at commercial businesses, do they want to sponsor the food? Um, porridge, bran flakes, corn flakes, toast, all that, orange juice, brilliant. Get them involved. And at the same time, it's amazing how distant sometimes schools are from local businesses. And this is a great way to get the local business involved in the school and they take ownership. So it's going really well um, and hopefully we, we, we're going to feed 200,000 uh, breakfasts free to the schools um, every year. So yeah, it's going real well. This isn't your only um charitable uh, cause, um, mm -hmm. the, uh, such a campaign as the Keep It Up yep. uh, campaign, I believe, which yep. is uh, designed to help the Yorkshire Air Ambulance. Correct. Um, where did this come about? All the money raised for the Keep It Up campaign is split 50-50. 50 50% uh, 50 of it goes to the Yorkshire Air Ambulance, um, and 50% of it goes to our uh, football and academy to bring uh, young kids from the local community through. Um, what we have done so far, it will be three and a half years now, and this year we should crack the million pounds. The Yorkshire Air Ambulance, it's an amazing thing which is, gets no government money. It costs £7,200 a day to keep the ambulances up in the air. And so far, we set off walking from Huddersfield to Barnsley on a 19 mile walk to raise money. And Paul Gowland, their fundraising officer, said to us, look, Huddersfield fans, this is fantastic. So far you've raised £700,000, that equates to you guys have saved 15 lives. Now to me that's a, a it's heartwarming, um, but we're also raising not just money for the Yorkshire Ambulance, we're also raising awareness because all charities now need awareness and it's got that Yorkshire theme and let's be fair, whether it's something from London travelling on the M62, you never know when you need it. So for us it's a great way, but more importantly it's involved with supporters, with the club, they want to do well, they like the club doing charity work, and it's a great way for them to be involved in the whole community spirit, and we're trying to place the football club right in the middle of that. You've been a, a long time, Huddersfield. Too long. Fan. Too long. <laughs> what, just uh, try and put into words what it's like to be the chairman of Huddersfield Town Football Club. The, it, the highs, the lows, the anxieties, the, the joys, the pleasures. Yeah, yeah, it's a thankless task. I think. Where I am fortunate is, we all know there's lots of foreign investment now coming to football. I'm a, a, a local lad, done well, been on the choices for 35 years, jumped out of my seat into the posh seat. So I suppose for every fan, it's the dream. I've never any aspiration to get involved in the football club because, um, as we all say, it's a thankless task. Um, but at the same time, it's something which has given me great um, uh, memories over the years. The club was off the rails, let's be fair, off the rails. And all what I wanted to do is three things really. Uh, one, um, uh, get the club promoted to the championship, um, get the shares back in the stadium, um, which, which hopefully uh, we, are, we are very close to do, and get the club in the centre of the community. And we've probably succeeded in all three. 
But for me to actually come from the terraces, I like to say, if, if there's a thankless task, on a Saturday, um, when, you, when you have a, a great win, it's great. But let's be fair, I've been chairman three years. We've had two failed off, failed playoff attempts, but the final one at Wembley, when we finally beat Sheffield United on 22 penalties, we missed the first three. I went from being the lowest of the low, absolutely horizontal, deflated after three penalties, to 10 minutes later, I'm a championship chairman. And that's the swings in, in football. But you've got to keep believing. And I said to um, the Chancellor, Sir Patrick Stewart on stage, never in doubt. Dean Hoyle, thank you very much. Thank I you. hope you enjoy your day with Thank us. you very much. Thank you. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.